I'm sure that many of us have had our fair share of unruly bosses in our workplaces over the years who have implemented interesting or bizarre new procedures for employees. Sometimes these procedures can feel ridiculous or inconvenient to us, but have you ever experienced a workplace procedure that challenges God's law? That's what our three lads, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, are experiencing in Daniel chapter 3. The king, Nebuchadnezzar, has created an immensely large golden statue and has commanded every person in his kingdom to literally worship it whenever they hear a symphony of accompanying music. Naturally, our three boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, captive Jews who are now living in Babylon, know God's first two commandments, delivered to Moses. Thou shalt have no other gods before me, and thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image. So naturally, they do not partake in this bizarre scene of corporate idol worship, as is the case in most situations where God's people stand up for themselves in Him. There were those in Nebuchadnezzar's company who ratted them the trio out to the king. Mind you, the Bible says that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were people of importance in the kingdom. So this quickly became a big deal. Now we know the rest of the story very well. The lads refused to give in to the king's demands and are thrown into a fiery furnace. The king looks and sees them walking inside unharmed with a fourth member who is like unto the Son of God and sets them free in astonishment of how God had delivered them. But I want to focus on one aspect of this story that I feel would benefit us in moments like this in our actual lives. After Nebuchadnezzar challenges the trio, even going as far to say that no god can save them from his wrath, the three guys calmly and respectfully say to the king, O oh Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that, that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace, and he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the gold image which you have set up. These guys were perfectly willing to risk losing everything to stay true to God's commandments. They didn't meet Nebuchadnezzar's fiery wrath with fiery wrath of their own, but with calm and respect for his authority. How quick are we to want to strike out in anger or fear when our beliefs are challenged? Are we willing to lose our jobs or lose friends in making a stand for what we believe in? Are we willing to let God speak for himself while we exercise a peace that passes all understanding? Let me leave with you today a song that I always think of when I remember this story. I hope it's an encouragement to you today. God has made it known to his very own tribulations they must bear. For this world is not any friend to God, in his cross we have a share. But when the hour of trial comes, and fire is all around, we'll find the place we're walking on is really holy ground. And praise be to God that the flames will set us free. And praise be to God we shall gain the victory. When with God our lot we cast, we'll have more than we could ask. We'll go walking through the flames with the Son of God.